Anthony, I found this love letter for you outside. That's weird. I'm just gonna throw it out. No, no, no! Oh my gosh. This is the 10th one this week. This girl must really like me. You really don't have to be this desperate. You can do so much better than someone who's leaving sketchy letters written in crayon in your mailbox. No, it's okay. She gave me her address. I'm gonna meet her in person. No, 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 you can't do that. Meeting up with a stranger is super dangerous. What if you're being catfished? You can get seriously hurt. Maybe you're right. I guess I just won't open the door for her when she comes over tonight. Wait, you already have a date with her tonight? Uh, no, it's not a date. Dude, I got your text! You got a date tonight? Yeah, I do! Wait, did you just come from the window? Oh my gosh, Anthony, I'm so excited. All my dreams are coming true. I'm gonna get a girlfriend, and you're gonna get married, and I'm gonna be the best man! What makes you think you're gonna be the best man? Uh, cause I'm his best friend. Duh. Well, I happen to think that I'm his best friend, so I should be his best man. I'm gonna be the best man. I haven't even been on the date yet and you're already talking about marriage. What if it doesn't go well? I've never been on a date before. I don't know what to do. Anthony, I've been on plenty of dates. I'll teach you everything you have to know. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're actually gonna listen to Andrew. I can't be the only one that thinks that this is a bad idea. Okay, Anthony, for your date tonight, we gotta take care of that forest on your chest. Why? She's not gonna see it. And why are you wearing goggles? I don't wanna get any of your hair in my eyes. Now stay still. I told you, my chest hairs are made of steel. I guess you're just gonna have to wear a shirt for your date tonight. I was planning on it. Then why are we shaving your chest? You're wasting time. Let's go. Okay, Anthony, it's really important to be dressed nice for your date. I couldn't find a tux, but at least it has the same color scheme. Andrew, I look like a penguin. You are. Put on the hood. No. Anthony, put it on. There's my handsome boy. Okay, I am not wearing this. You have to, girls love penguins. Okay, I can't watch this anymore. Here, put this on. All right, fine. If you want to look stupid for your date, wear those. But at least let me show you how to talk to a lady. <sighs> okay, what is this? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Ryan is gonna stand here and pretend to be your date and you're gonna flirt with him. I'm not doing that. I figured you'd say that. So, flirt with Danny instead. I don't think I could do this, Andrew. Yes, you can. Watch, I'll be the girl, you be Anthony. Uh, hey, Danny. Hey, baby. I like your bald head. Thanks, you wanna rub some butter on it? Okay, I'm not doing this. Why not? No one says that. That's exactly what I'd say on a date. She's here. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Hey there, Mai. Don't worry, when she comes in, just give her this. Girls love chocolate. Where did you get this? ShopRite. All right, come in. Uh, hi, my name is Lou. You look very beautiful tonight. Dude, she's a babe. Oh, wait. Which one of you is Susan? Susan's right here. I feel like I'm looking in a mirror. You are not the person I thought the letters were going to. I was right. I told you this was a catfish. Excuse me, I am not a fish. I do not have gills. I do know a gill, though. Well, on that note, I'm gonna leave you two alone. No, I am not doing this. It's because he doesn't have gills? Oh, I can go get Gil if you want. He gets all the ladies. No, I am not Susan! So you don't want to go on the date? No! Anthony! You can't pass up on this opportunity. And I've spent so much time trying to get you ready. And do you know your brother, Topher's in the kitchen making a five course meal? I don't care! I do! <sighs> I just wanted someone to talk to for once. I've been so lonely. I'll just see myself out. Okay, wait. You and I can have dinner. Uh, not a date, just as buddies. I don't have anything else to do tonight. Really? Come on, Ryan. Let's give these two some alone time. Not a date! Hi. This is a bad idea. You know, he wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you and your stupid encouraging. What? I think it's going well. That's how all well my dates look. You and Jess sit in silence? Yeah, she doesn't like when I talk. She tells me to shut up. So, uh, what do you like to do? Oh, I watch the ladies walk by on my security cameras. That's creepy. It is? Kinda. Oh, I don't mean to be creepy. I'm just lonely and want a companion. Oh, that's actually really sad. And I can relate to the lonely part. Oh, you should get security cameras. You should get rid of yours. 
Oh, right. Creepy. Hello, I will be your waiter this evening. Is there anything I can get for you or your date? Uh, it's not a date. Uh, yes. Do you have any cuddled eggs? I don't even know what that is. Do you have Mexican jungle rat? How would I have that? Oh, I don't know. It's just to die for. Uh, just get us the chicken. Sorry, we uh, we don't make chicken here. Okay, then just get us whatever you have. Ah, I was hoping you'd say that. Two toast specials coming right up. Thank you. I love the toast special. What's in it? Trust me, you don't want to know. So, what else do you do besides be a creep? Uh... Oh, well, I love filmmaking. Oh, really? Me too. <gasps> On the count of three, say your favorite movie. One, two, three, Gone, Gone Girl! No way! We have the same favorite movie! Uh, are they getting along? Ah, who's stupid now? Still you. All right. oh. You two love birds. Enjoy your meal. This is just cereal. This is the Toaf special. Oh, he knew what we wanted. Is there anything else that you guys need for your meals so you can just waste more of my time? Uh, no, I'm good. Sorry to disturb. A spoon would be nice. Oh yeah, I could just, I could just go get you a spoon. He's really nice. So, uh, what kind of films do you make? Oh, I make comedy skits. Usually I do them alone and I play every character because I'm kind of a loser. I'm kind of a loser! Oh, and you know what I hate? When other people use my camera and have the white balance settings wrong, the skin tones go magenta! That's what I've been saying for years! When did you get here? This is the first date my son's ever been on. I ain't gonna miss it. Not a date! Here's your spoon. What is that, the Big Dipper? I said a spoon, not a star constellation. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Can you can you not pick up food with this? Can I have a Big Dipper? Lou, I'm so sorry. We actually just gave our last one out. But you can have this spoon. Oh, oh. Uh, no thanks. I have those at home. My apologies. Do you want me to take that back, sir? Can we have a new waiter? Let me go get a check. You know, this date really isn't that bad. Not a date, but I actually kind of enjoyed this. We have a lot more in common than I thought. What do you say we eat this toast special as a toast to making a new friend? To new friends. What are you doing? Putting the milk in the bowl. Are you some sort of freak? Who puts the milk in before the cereal? It's not that big of a deal. Uh -huh, yeah it is. Your bad cereal habits are probably why you have no friends. Okay, I'm sorry, I could just- No, it's too late. You know what? I'm out of here! No, Blue, wait, I- yeah, bu 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 Out of here! Well... At least I can use a regular spoon now. Great. Not only did I not have my date, but I lost a friend. And you know what? You just lost two more. Yeah, who puts the milk in first? What are you, some kind of freak? Freak? Guys, it's not a big deal. I'll just do it the other way. It's too late. Do cross the line. Yeah, you sicken me. You know what? This friendship is over. Ryan, let's go to Build-A-Bear. Oh, hey, Sonny. Another Valentine's Day alone. What happened to you? Oh, this? Well, you see, I took my date out to this really expensive restaurant and she expected me to pay for her. So when no one was looking, I made a run for it. Unfortunately, I also wasn't looking and I ran right into the street and got hit by a car. Even you had a Valentine's Day date? Yeah, I met her through you! You had a secret admirer who kept sending you letters, but I took the letters and went on the date instead. I had a real secret admirer the whole time? Yeah, she was crazy about you. But now she's crazy about Grandpa. Unbelievable. You got my real date, and I got a catfish. Anyway, I gotta go rest up. I've got another date with her tomorrow. Another date? Ugh. Hey, dip squeak. You forget about the receipt? 200 pesos. Pesos? This is a Mexican restaurant. And your receipt's in the milk. Have a good night, sir. Oh. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some bloopers and behind the scenes to our secret admirer video, you can click the link in the description down below or the link at the top box on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the second channel while you're over there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment letting us know what you thought, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram at Culture35 and on TikTok at RealCulture35 for some extra bonus content. And that's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye, guys.